where they don't have an elevated crew a month later with an elevator. So the elevator it, the is elevator's not, not working. working. So these people are basically trapped in their building. And some of them are supposed to send them, uh, doctor's appointments. Some of them are supposed to, they ran out of meds. Some of them don't even have tissue. And I don't, you know, when when we were seeing some, when we were seeing some last night, some of them was crying. If you look at her Facebook page, every day she's saying how sad it is that nobody has been there to see her. Every day, you now when you see them, they'll they'll be a bundle of joy. But every day, I'm looking at depression. I'm looking at you know sadness. All of these things that they're going through. She's I didn't see it until uh, I looked on Facebook and I saw her. And then I start looking at her her words every day. Day 24, still nobody's really coming to see me. I'm running out of stuff. I broke my glasses. You know, different. Okay, I need that so, address for Zachary. And once one seventy-five. You know, again, these it's just it's just crazy to me that that has not been a, a elevated crew working night and day for people that are in a building that the only way you can get in there is handicap accessibility. Uh, I mean, if you're handicapped or if you're single. So, you know, uh, I want FEMA to see it, Red Cross to see it. I've sent this already to Senator Dean Scalos. I'm calling Denise Ford, Legislative Ford. I'm calling the County Executive. I have some of my team sending these videos over to everybody. We took plenty of videos. We did things. It's it's just, you know, it's to see some of the seniors that was in there, it's just sad. You know, whether they say they're okay or not, some of them are depressed. They feel trapped. No way of going down, no way of going anywhere. It was hard for anybody here can go to the fifth floor, sixth floor. Check and see how it is. <laughs> you know? I got tired on five and I'm pretty young. But it's not it's, it's not a good sight. So, you know, uh, I'm gonna continue doing what I do to continue letting everybody know whether it's Red Cross, whether it's FEMA, whether it's state representatives, no way a month later that those elevators, I don't care if they had to buy new elevators for a building with handicapped people, and one lady is confined to a wheelchair in that building. We don't know what we're getting ready to go into today when we go to 175, but we're building up, uh, uh, you know, we're putting some supplies together now to take it. We keep running out of stuff because we're going. They can't make it here, so we're going to go to them, and that's what we're going to do, you know? So whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, whether it's I, I don't care. We need to go and get any information out as possible. You know? And that's what we're going to do.